record. Hey guys, this is Kinch with X Television here to bring you another exciting ESCA Open Season 13 match between two teams. The Basic Octopus Crew tacked up as Too Much 4 versus the Zabumba Crew uh, tacked up as Zabu in game. Again, this is on CP Gravel Pit, uh, one of the interesting oddball maps that has shown up in TF2 uh, over the past couple of seasons. Generally, one that throws a, a couple oddball curves. Uh, definitely open for many surprises in store for tonight's match. <laughs> As I'm also doing a experimental cast live on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash tf 2 where I have a couple of viewers watching on board and they're all hoping for an explosion, so we'll hope for an explosive match today. Let's go in game and get things started. Mission begins in 60 seconds. And here we go, match is live at the moment. Uh, both teams will get to take turns attacking on this mission and defending. In this case, the basic octopus crew tacked up as too much for is currently on the defense. They will start as the B team. Uh, generally in competitive environments, it's A, B, B, A in terms of order of attack. Here where we see a vast is setting up a triple sticky trap over onto the A exit for the blue team. This trap is quite common for use as a uh, deterrent for players coming out of that door and suddenly we get a little bit of a movement lag for him. And we see slips here. Well, the blue team sort of screwing around building Genji stuff. Uh, take a look at the rosters real quick for the blue team. On Medic, we have Dana Scully. On Scout is Open. BSC is on Soldier. Baseball Mom is on Demo. Slips, as previously mentioned, is on the Utility class, currently Engineer. Tooth is Sully. As we can see, Schlater on the Sabu team takes down the Sentry Gun right away over on the B side. That's uh, unfortunate bit of use of metal right there. Not very constructive. But as you can see, blue team is currently bomb rushing point A over here. Uh, a is a very difficult point to defend the way it's set up. It is high ground, yes, but it's pretty much wide open, so it's not really good for defending, if at all. As you can see, they're pretty much stacking it eight times. We're going to take a look at their initial cap time for this point A as blue team or red team has yet to make an attack at it 42 seconds to capture first point that is a very excellent time to run the initial uh first count for a gravel pit here we see perry on defense he is currently top scoring on his team schleiner is soldier misc is on utility avast is demo case is soldier and Ocas is on scout and first casualty for the red team is going to be avast the demo man Getting going down somewhere, and the sentry gun goes down for the red team. Engineer is a common off class for this map. Uh, looked like uh, Tooth tried to get on the point, and then probably went down. Case currently sitting on top of the roof here at B, taking a little bit of damage. Dodges that rocket definitely, but I think his uh, medic took that hit, and Perry goes down. Didn't have an Uber set up in the nick of time. Actually, Dennis Scully's actually gone down as well. A couple of players on the cap right now. Oh, in case comes flying out the window as a rower, and I think camera froze. Unfortunately, that would probably mean that this match has a pause in it, so we're going to have to fast forward a little bit, see when this bad boy ends, because this is kind of annoying. And here we get the uh, crazy baseball effect, or the bicycle wheel kick for this demo man, who is a pirate. Whoa, and then everything goes super quick for a second. Fortunately, nobody dies in the process. Can't quite tell who went down there. It might have been Tooth or Avast that dropped during that one. But meanwhile, BSC tries to jump into a soldier on the top of the roof of B. Gets absolutely nothing out of that one. But they're going to get the cap on that one. And as a flaw with the Source TV, uh, the HUD will break occasionally, so let's quickly reload everything, get a look at the time for a second point. Two minutes, 18 seconds, an excellent right. run. Control point is being captured. And we see already there's a cap on top of B at the moment, I believe that might be a... S oh, that's actually a Demo Man. Right. 
Trying to defend the point against the scout. Scout able to cap two times and still hasn't gone down yet, but they've actually evacuated the point. And now everybody sort of just dancing around the point. Holy moly, that was a quick first round. Two minutes, 48 seconds to get three points. That is a very quick time. Basically, that took three pushes in two minutes, 48 seconds, pretty much. Uh, let's take a look and reload the HUD real quick so we don't get the teams mixed up. Zabu is pretty much going to have to cap that in a really, really insanely quick time. Uh, two minutes, 48 seconds. If you have any kind of defense whatsoever, uh... Failed push or not, uh, you're gonna probably hold that point really well. So let's take a look and see what too much uh, the basic octopus emporium decides to do here. They're gonna set the demo, the sticky trap up on B. This is the B exit over here. Uh, this area is not normally accessible to most classes, but uh, able to most explosive classes can get up there with their jumping abilities. Uh, right now we see Case is the main off-class at the moment, and Slips is NG for the red team. So the two utility players getting involved. And here's Sabu coming through point A. The trap's not here, but they're going to go ahead and prepare anyway, just to make sure that uh, this doesn't go too terribly wrong for them. And they're going to start stacking the point here. They're gonna, pretty much going to have to tap... They're pretty much going to have to cap this within... Uh, this first 48 seconds here, otherwise they're going to be way behind on time. Every second is going to count here. Actually, open is going to go down. That was a scout going down on the flank, trying to come from the B side to get a flanking opportunity in. And is the blue team going to be able to get this cap right here? Yes, they will. Two minutes, eight seconds to go. Uh, picked up a couple of seconds on that one, and now they're coming to flank around to the C side. Uh, Schlander fires a couple of suppressive rockets into two. That's what they call that far exit. And then this is one, the near exit for Red Team into B. And the Uber's going to be popped on the demo right here. Try to fling around to that scamper side. They're gonna, Blue Team's going to basically ignore the Red Uber right here. Tried to flash one of the soldiers, but that didn't end so well. On Blue with Ocast, he's going to be right in on both of the soldiers. Trying to get some good shots in. Ooh, can't quite get anything done. Gets gunned down. Shotgun. Now Case has got a scout on him. Right now, damage is pretty even for both teams. Now Case is going to have to suicide. Ooh! Thought about running away for a brief moment, pulled out the uh, escape plan, but wasn't able to get out in the nick of time. Now Tooth is going to jump onto the roof and hold this defense. This is a failed push for the Sebu crew, which means most likely this round has already gone in the favor of the basic Octopus Emporium, which, even though it's still possible to capture both B and C within 60 seconds is very highly improbable with the way we spawns work for the red team. Pretty much, red team could evacuate this point if they wanted to and still get the... But they're going to hang on to it. Here's the red combo right on the far side in the shadow section. So you see Dana Scully has 95% Uber. He's going to get an Uber first. But pretty much everybody starts falling apart around him. He's going to get an engineer. All he has to do is get on the point and pop it. And he's going to lock it down, but he's going to pop on the demo and start walking on the point, basically right into the face of the opposition. Dumbman's going to get a couple of kills. Ooh, that's a nice 3k right there. A mixture of stickies, combos, and then wraps it up with another kill at the very end to get a 4k. Good direct pipe action for the demo man right here. That is going to wrap up the first round already. I mean, we can pretty much block that down. 10 seconds to go. There is not a whole lot that blue team could do about this. And the first point is going to go to the too much for team. Basic Octopus Emporium getting the first point, and now they're going to switch colors to start the second round off. Or in this case, the second half, I should say. Um, now it's going to be, if my math is correct, the Zabu team is going to attack first, and then it'll be up to the Emporium to uh, beat the next cap time. So 10 minutes, 48 seconds. Very quick first time. Although, admittedly, uh, defense wasn't really existent there, so pretty much... Not able to do much. This is currently also the halftime period, so they're waiting on people to ready up. So we should be starting the next half real soon, hopefully. 
people sort of just dancing around doing sort of whatever they want to. Here we go, the teams have swapped to their appropriate classes. And here we go with a couple of false starts and away we go. Match is live, so here's the second half of Basic Octopus Emporium versus Zabuma Crew. This time it's Zabuma Crew on the offense to start. And we see Case is sort of playing around with the engineer, with or the spy, I should say. He's disguised as an engineer, and unfortunately, he's a bit invisible when he's not supposed to be Tell because of a little. Now, okay, that's one setting I forgot to put in my config, but that's all right. It happens from time to time. Here's Schleiner, uh, wearing a flaming steel pot pan thing on his head. I presume that would be very handy if you're trying to cook a meal and you don't have a stove with which to work with. It'll just cook the meal itself. So here's Schleiner. He's gonna be looking at the B-side. We're not looking for traps. Oh, there's a Romy soldier right there in the way. And the demos also. I don't know why they're thinking about pushing this B-side. This is pretty much a inane strategy. Oh, well, there we go. There's a couple of scouts over there on the A-side. They're just not gonna waste too much time getting into the fight. Later, having a scat in his face takes down open being able to get that killed initially not enough to make a pick because you can hear that in that engineer sentry gun is spooled up somewhere and locking onto ooh looked like it was case over there on the side tooth and slips slips playing the ng rule and actually slips has gone down and the first cap time 39 seconds very, very quick time. Excellent strategy to, by the Zabu team in order to bring all the resistance to the B-side and allowing them to cap uh, their two scouts to cap relatively unopposed. Now Slips, coming out of spawn, having a little bit of trouble with the scouts coming onto the C flank. They're able to get back over there, and is the sentry gun still alive? Yes, it is. This is pretty key. This is a, another common sentry spot right here. Uh, but he's going to bring take it up, and he's going to bring it over to the more typical shadow side. Uh, typically, nope, he's not going to go for the shadow side. He's going to put it right on the ramp. This is very exposed, but able to provide, uh, pretty much he's able to lock down this exit of B right here. There's another exit over there on the other side, but that's not nearly as interesting. Schleiner Crater somewhere, courtesy of Baseball Mom, who's a demo. And it looks like they're trying to push here on the B, on the C side, actually. Uh, Uber gets popped onto the demo man. Uh, a vast and an open oh goes down scout on scout action right here and Perry look out soldier Kablamo! demo stickies take him out with a bang you wanted explosions you got explosions okay is going back for health and what is he off class to he changes to the sniper class uh, grapple pit again as previously mentioned is a popular mount to use off classes on off class being anything that is not oh Tooth goes down, headshot right between the eyes. As mentioned, grapple pit, good for off-classing. Generally, that's anything that's not a scout, a soldier, demo man, or a medic. Uh, typically, you'll see your second scout or your roaming soldier off-class, as those classes sometimes can be expendable. Now, Ocas is sort of going to push up a little bit with his team in a designated marksman role. Trying to line up a shot on the demo man. Can't get anything done. Sentry gun goes down on the side, but uh, Case goes down, the roaming soldier, I believe, for the Zabu team. Ocas doesn't scope it for that one. That's not going to do much damage. He does, he's going to go down. Schleiner is on the roof of B, able to lay down suppressive fire, and that's going to force the Uber for the blue team right here. With their utility class down, they're not able to do much with that Uber. And Scully Pops, counter for blue team, or red team, I should say. Ugh, I'm getting my colors next up again. This is not good. I should probably get my eyes checked. This is going to afford Slips an opportunity to rebuild a sentry gun right here. As most of the Zabu has gone down in that first failed push, they have 5 minutes and 31 seconds left to attempt a cap. Again, since they're on offense, the they have the luxury of having as much time as they can to cap. But they still have to keep a track of that countdown timer on the top. If that ticks down to zero, then that means their run is over. Now Slips is going to move his sentry gun over to this little health uh, ledge right there. 
That's another pretty popular sentry spot right there. Able to get some good cover fire onto this little point. Baseball Mom able to put a couple of traps up. He's able to observe both those. And Delporter actually goes down by Misk. Able to take down the entrance. And here's the next push on the seaside. Since Zabu pretty much has control of A. They can come over here at their leisure. And now we have a bit of a stalemate situation. Uh, blue team waiting to get their uber built up. And they're going to get their uber right here. They're going to have the traditional sixes line up right here. Versus the traditional defensive lineup right here. Is he going to get the uber right here? Yes, he does. Lights for the sentry to engage him. Tries to get a couple stinkies on. Sentry gun goes down. So does the engineer. Counter pop by the red team. Flashing as many people as they can. Uber is out for the blue team. Starting to take some hits right here. Uh, baseball mom takes down Misk. The scout right there. Now throws some pipes right over at the TV pocket soldier. Not able to get anything done on that. Roaming soldier is on the roof at the moment. And he's lighting up baseball mom. And he goes down. That's uh, three kills in about five seconds for the blue team right there. Able to secure the general vicinity of B. They're going to start the cap with their scouts. And they're going to try to push over to C before the other team has a chance to respawn. Slips has elected to go spy up. And he's going back to scout. You can sometimes see a couple of crazy plays here around C. Slips, playing not to suppress the fire, he goes back in to spawn, what does he come out as? He has a pyro. Uh, this is a very good class to use on the last point at Gravel Pit, as you get air blast uh, contacts off of the cap point, which is at the very top of this tower. And be able to uh, keep control of the point that way. You see Misk eliminating a obvious sticky trap right here. The Uber is bomb for the blue team right here. Both soldiers jumping onto the point. Flashes it all around. Scully not able to answer. He is only 70% Uber. Okas takes down one, takes down two. It looks like a vast gets a kill on baseball mom. And we're looking at a time of six minutes and three seconds for this first uh first push of the second half, we'll call it. Now the teams will switch and do it all again. This time. The Emporium will look to repeat their earlier cap time of 2 minutes 48 seconds, which was a pretty exceptional time by most stretch of the imagination. And they have three times. They have as much. They have three times as much time to do it in this turn as they would in the other one. Maybe twice as much. Sometimes math gets a little fuzzy for me, but I digress. Thanks, Doc. Uh, interesting how this scout managed to get up here. I didn't realize he actually was able to get up here. He was able to get over there from that rock and jump up here, which admittedly surprised me, but I'll keep that in mind next time I play this on the pub. So we pretty much see the entirety of Red Team is set up over on uh, B. So we're going to see all of A, or all of Blue come over to A, doing the traditional explosive ordnance disposal, checking for the Demo Man Stinky Traps in the all the usual positions. And maybe a couple that are just plain paranoid. Uh, both scouts are going to be capping the point, and they should be able to get within the same time as uh, uh, the red team was able to. They're going to get seven times on the point. I don't know if this helps them out any, having beyond three times, but hey. You do what you got to do. Uh, they were able to do that in about, I want to say, 38, 39 seconds, so a similar time to cap first point. That can be crucial in advanced gameplay. Hey, look, there's the sticky trap right there. We're able to detect it just barely. See a lip of one of them. The rest get detonated with no effect. Tooth is, I believe, the roaming at the moment. And he's going to get, and the pocket's going to get the Uber right here. Baseball Mom currently getting flashed all over the place. Uber's going to run out first for blue team, and then they're going to get their heavy into action. Baseball Mom tries to get a couple of kills. Ooh! Total wipeout for the basic octopus emporium. Good grief, I can't pronounce anything correctly today. Anyways. So yes, total wipe for the blue team. That's a failed push. Uh, failed push is okay right here. They have still have 4 minutes 30 seconds to go, but you start getting 2 or 3 of those in a row and then time becomes a bit of an issue. And 
see the obvious sticky trap right there. Now, do they recognize that there might be an utter less obvious trap? Nope, there's no obvious utter trap. Soldiers start bombing in all over the place. Uh, Zabu uh, doesn't quite have their Ubers set up, only 50% for parry. Ow, Scully goes down to a pipe in the face somewhere. That's going to basically fail this push right here, but they're going to try to cap anyway. They're laying down the surprise fire inside of that B house. Oh, Baseball Mom goes down to a Sticky in the face. Misk, currently on the Engineer, currently has his level 3 Sentry set up here on the Shadow side again. Pretty common spot, able to lay down some good surprise fire in some at sections. Now we're going to see, with the second failed push if the Emporium sort of gets into a hurry up and wait mode, or, or are they going to panic a little bit and try to push, force this, uh, uber this push in unneed, the, without need. We're gonna get one of the scouts to build up and Tooth goes down on the flank. That's gonna basically force a committal right here. Looking for the sentry gun, throws it where they he thinks it is. He's gonna miss. He's gonna go down to Schlainer, jump it up to say hi to him. Yeah, thanks, Doc. Scully's gonna get the Zuber built up, but he, he wouldn't pop it on just a scout and only a scout up at the moment. So, a bit of a half a failed push, I would say right there. That's 2.5 failed pushes. What it's gonna do is gonna offer them the chance to re-push right away once they get everybody back up. And here comes Slips in late. We're gonna go on board with Open here. He sees, sort of decides which flank he wants to go onto. He wants to go towards this left side. Most of the fire is going to be drawn by the combo right here. And Tooth drawing all kinds of attention over here on the side. Uber's actually popped on the Demo Man. This is a more Eurocentric style push, popping on the Demo Man. But anytime you can get a pop is pretty good. Oh, Tooth goes down on the roof to a shotgun. It's just taken out. And Miss can't quite get a sentry gun rebuilt in time. It went down during that push. And it looks like Red Team are going to vacate the premises right here. They have lost three men in this push, and they're going to go ahead and back it out, keep their medical parry alive. And now, they're going to try to hold, they're going to hold, forward hold here and let the scouts cap. They're going to have about a minute, 20 seconds, maybe a little bit less in order to cap. They're not going to have an Uber advantage. Ubers are actually dead even, and currently teams organizing OCAS. Currently on the heavy for the red team. He's going to go straight to the top of the point. He is going to keep his minigun spin up around here. Ubers are dead even. They know it. They both have it. And they're going to be waiting for the inevitable push. Minute 10 seconds to go. Blue team needs to commit right now. Yes, they do. Case is going to bear the brunt of the pocket jumping in. In the meantime, Schlanner. Helps out his soldier, or helps out his heavy, taking out baseball mom. BSC goes down. Casualty sort of mounting all the way around for all of their offensive classes are pretty much down. It is just open and scully up here. Pretty much they have no choice but to go. Ooh, Schlainer runs into scully. Hello, Rocket. Nice to meet you. Now go back to your spawn. Now 35 seconds left to go. There is not enough time to build an Uber up. Let's see if they do anything crazy. I'm flipping around looking for Scully's camp. He's going to be on Uber charge. Uh, he's going to be able, only able to provide overheal to his teammates. Now in a situation like this, just speaking from a medic's perspective, I would definitely break out a quick fix right about here. You can get a quick fix built up quickly. And even if you can't pop it, you are going to at least have an opportunity to try and cap. Eight seconds to go. I don't think this is going to happen. Just not able to get any time on the point. And time is going to expire. And boom. Zoom. Zabuma crew wins the second half. So now we go into a bit of an extended period. This is the third round. Score is tied one to one. One push win for one push win. So now we're going to have to do it again with uh, the Emporium pushing first. Gets the Zaboomba crew. That's just how it goes. So we'll wait a little bit for them to decide to start the second half. So let me take let me take a quick 
look at over at C while we have a moment and explain sort of the quick fix play. Uh, one of the attributes of the quick fix medigun, even though it does not provide overheals, is whatever target you locked onto, if they rocket or sticky jump or otherwise are affected by seconds. explosives of their own doing, the medic is able to jump with them. The Mission idea begins. being, as seconds. the match goes live, when we have time here, um, in if you take seconds. if you take your medic and you pair him up with a quick fix and either a soldier or a demo man, uh, you'd be able to jump from pretty much anywhere within the lower courtyard, get up onto C, and then get at least a two times cap going. Uh, definitely useful for a soldier who needs to keep his heels up and be able to uh, fend off any defenders from getting onto the point, giving his team, you know, plenty of time to divide and conquer, basically. Uh, it's a pretty tricky play to pull off, and you rarely see it happen even in high levels of competition, where generally uh, the lethality is so refined that even if you broke out the quick fix, they would know how to target the medic and be able to take him down easily, even though you don't necessarily expect it. Uh, Perry looking quite dapper with his uh, pipe and Eckstein sideburns and Detective Kemp. But anyways, enough about hats. Let's go with round three. Uh, pushing A again. Typical grapple pit assault. Checking for the usual sticky traps. None that can be present. A little bit of a waste of ammo, but hey, it's better than nothing. Better than losing a medic early on to, to a fail trap. As you can see, uh, Vast has set his traps up on both sides. Um, on both B exits, actually. Uh, pretty standard trap fare, and now he's going to modify one of the traps to go from the A side. And you can see, actually, Red Blue Team is elected to go from the C side at 41 seconds for their first cap. The baseball mom sort of chasing one of the roaming soldiers away. And now, ooh, baseball mom just sort of gets pinned up against the wall with the rockets and goes down to Schlaner. BSC able to back away successfully, keeping that Uber held in reserve. Actually, Perry popped there. Case taking out Tooth on a side. Significant advantage in favor of the Emporium right here. Able to hold on to their Uber charge, forcing their team to pop. But it's a case of pop, don't drop it. If you drop it, it is a definite disadvantage later on as the maneuver, uh, the momentum shifts in the favor of the opposition. Okay, sitting on the roof, gets a couple of shots onto the demo, not able to do anything. Look out, medic! You're taking suppressive fire. Scully is forced to pop onto his demo man. Baseball mom getting some work done on the side. And casualties mounting. Holy cow, BSC and baseball mom get a 4K team effort. That is a lot of lethality in a very small area. Meanwhile, the scouts sort of come in. Trying to get something to happen. Scout jumps out the window and then finally goes down to a shotgun. Ocas can't make anything happen. Here comes the cap on B. I presume red team is not going to try to go after it. Because if they try to go after it and fail, they're going to lose C real easy. So they're just going to elect to use the soldiers to quickly build this Uber up. Uh, look at around for open. I see his damage not taking too much damage. He's sort of sitting here on the cap. He's going to go for some health and probably try to push in straight away. And we see two off classes at the moment for the red team. They have a heavy and a pyro at the moment. Ocas and Misk, respectively. And now they're sort of spinning around, looking around. Oh, here's the Uber pop for the blue team right here. That's going to force the exchange. Flashes all the way around. Nobody's quite dead yet. Case is really lit up. Somebody's on the point right here. Let me just get out of here. Let's get the third person view and check out this battle. From the far side, see a couple of blue team players sort of dancing on the point right here. They Red team is actually giving up control right here. Heavy goes down on the side. Pyro able to get in on that flank. Able to uh, push the devil man into the stickies. And lights a scout on fire. Scout's sort of going to fly around. And he's going to burn to death right here. For, yep. Open burns to a crystal courtesy of Miss, but in the meantime, blue team able to get their combo up onto the point and get that cap in 3 minutes 21 seconds. Bloody efficient work 
out of the Emporium team right here. I don't know if the Zaboomba crew can come back on this one. So maybe, maybe expect an Iron Man defense here for the red team. I'm not sure, but we'll see. And in the meantime, Baseball Mom, uh, he's going to use his pipe to jump up there. That's an interesting jump. That's one way of saving some ammo right there. He's going to put four stickies on this B-side entrance. Then there are a couple stickies on the right. Both medics are going to have their Uber. And BSC, interestingly enough, is using a stock shovel. Mission begins in 10 seconds. Is he using gunboats? No, he's not using gunboats. Interesting. They're going to have all of their defense set up on the B side, ready to make this assault happen. But as expected, blue team all goes to the Ritz, uh, all goes to the A side. Misk is going to be the first one to reach the point, and check out a Vast right here. He's going to set up a sticky trap right here over on the path to C on the right side. He's expecting a possible counterattack from the side. Uh, unfortunately, the pattern indicates that uh, Emporium is not going to go this way, but they're going to get a cap time here and see what they do. He's going to go ahead and dead it. So pretty much nothing ha happening of note as of yet, except for the first cap, but that usually happens quite early and quite often. Baseball Mom sort of throws down some suppressed fire on the seaside. They know they're going to come from the seaside now, but Misks, we're checking out. He's just sitting here thinking, pondering the meanings of life. And open, sort of sitting here in the back. If he was Sniper, he would have had a perfect opportunity to take out the medic there before he popped, but the pop is going to happen. Uh, both Loopers exchange, and it runs out really, really early for the blue team right there. Oh! And I think Perry went down there to a rocket. I almost thought he went crater there for a second, but that was not meant to be. He just simply explodes in a shower of blood and guts and all kinds of other nasty and disgusting stuff. So, failed push right there for the Zabuma crew team. Uh, unfortunately, that's going to be their one and only failed push that they're afforded right here. Three minutes, it is possible to cap in four pushes, but that's about it. So now Case is going to bomb up onto the Roman soldier on top of the roof. Tooth goes down. Excellent bombing work. He's going to be really lit up, though, and they're going to have a slight uber advantage. And pushing in with a heavy, this is a definite advantage in a uberless push. Both sides are failing. Uh, to... Uh, get an uber up in time. Unfortunately, Schleiner goes down for the blue team. Two from the back in. Perry's actually going to be the first one to get his uber. Who does he pop it? On, oh, he's going to pop it. Well, he's actually not going to pop it quite yet. He's going to hang on to it. It is an uber charge. That's what I thought. And... They're going to try to get this cap in. They're going to have to stack that point pretty hard if they want to get this done in time. 50 seconds to go. They're only going to get enough time for one push right here. It is going to be exactly four pushes that they are going to get out of this one. Slips is going to be off blasting the heavy for the red team. It is going to probably be a heavy on heavy engagement right here. Cap time is done. 36 seconds. That's exactly how much time you're going to need to make this push happen. And that's all you're going to get. Case, checking quickly for second uh, sticky traps. 30 seconds call is made by the administrator. Bomb onto the heavy right here from Case. Heavy goes down. Schleiner, it'll take him out. A little bit of cap time is made, but they're not on the point. There's a heavy and a demo sitting on right, right up here. They have lost control of the point. Ten seconds to go. I don't think they're going to be able to do this unless they get something miraculous to happen. Heavy goes. Uh, soldier goes down. Demo goes down. Three seconds to go. The medic is trying to cap. Tries to get an Ubersold. No. Last second save by the scout is able to save the point for the... Uh, Emporium team. They're able to successfully get the win right there and uh, hold on for victory on a CB Gravel Pit. Well, that's another uh, X Television reduction in the books. Until we see meet you again, my name is Kinch and we'll catch you next time.